What is up guys, it's Sky, and this episode of Battlefield 5 Flight School is the defensive switching tutorial, and there's not a lot of footage, and I have a lot to say, so I'm going to talk kind of fast. Now this footage is a 1v1 session in Battlefield 1, and unfortunately I don't have Battlefield 5 footage. There's no 1v1 yet, but a lot of you guys have Battlefield 1 experience, and everything you see works the same in any Battlefield. This footage was eye-opening for me, it really helped me nail down a few things, so hopefully it's helpful for you. Now the great 1v1 dogfighters of BF3 and BF4 were masters of switching, and after they left in BF1, most pilots just resort to erratic rolling and spanning breaks, even in dogfight servers. Everyone in the comment section keeps saying how BF5 is so different, but angles are angles. The top DFers of BF3 and BF4 were never killed from behind because they could keep making defensive switches until their jet auto repaired to full. In the footage, you'll see three examples of defense. The first and the best one, I managed a nice ground defense. Actually, the second one is the best one, but it ended up crashing, so I make some really good switches in the second one, so watch that one. In the third one, I make a lot of bad switches and end up getting taken down, and you can see examples of bad switches in the third one. First things first, switching is rolling your plane to turn in a different direction, and it's essentially the lifeblood and foundation of good defense. People sometimes ask for a magic move to lose someone, and if you watch piloting tutorials in the past, they offer up moves like rolling scissors, but... They're really only meant to create a small separation at best against a good pilot, and you have to pick your spots to use them. Switching is fundamental, and it's like dribbling in basketball, and it sets the foundation for everything. So the factors determining a good switch versus a bad one is direction and timing, as well as your own personal style. It's important to use different direction switches to mix it up and keep your opponent off balance. A good tailor is reading your switches, looking for patterns, and setting themselves up to counter certain switches. But in the vastness of the sky, when one door closes and another one opens. It's also important to take advantage of the blind spot outside of your opponent's field of view. Any switch you do there can at best completely fool them, and at the very least, if your opponent follows you, then they'll be late to react to it. A switch doesn't necessarily have to come from the blind spot to be an effective switch. Remember, it's all direction and timing. The best time switch is when your opponent overshoots. Generally, if you react fast enough, you can turn sharply away from your tailing enemy and force a small overshoot to start making defensive switches. Just listen for the swoosh. Most pilots in public over pursue and you can easily get them to overshoot. Now if your opponent has such good angles that he can smell what you have for breakfast, then you're going to have to do something different because your opponent can easily follow your switches at that point. You need to create at least a small amount of separation by doing something like rolling scissors, a spiral, or you can even try a cheeky roll while smashing your brakes. Even the best pilots like Akix Tez and Speedlun threw in a surprise deal just to create a small amount of separation to start making effective switches. But again, listen for the swoosh as a sign that your opponent overshot. And it's important that after you make a switch, you gotta stay in your turn and don't switch again until you hear the swoosh. It's easy to panic and switch too early, especially if your opponent gets angles for a second and gets some shots on you. But a switch at the wrong time actually gives away massive angles and you would have been better off just looping. And even after you hear the swoosh, you still don't want to be too quick. Remember, the direction and timing must be right. It's, it's important to remember that the angles and distance are always changing every second as you and your opponent turn. There is a key, but the exact physics behind when the switch is a closely guarded secret of mine. Just study the footage and experiment on your own. Determining the best direction to switch is the hardest part and involves how you last pass your opponent, how they're following you, how you set them up with previous switches, and where you want to go, maybe up away from the ground or away from a mountain so you don't crash. These factors change with every pass, and it's the hardest thing to nail down. Again, to me, there's a few secrets, but I'm not going to tell you. You just have to watch other pilots and experiment. Just know that there's certain directions that give up angles, and there's certain directions where your opponent can't possibly get angles on you. And that's all well and good, but you also need to learn how to react to different factors. If you switch and your opponent doesn't follow, you can easily reverse a dogfight there. This happens a lot in public. Just use sound cues or the rear cam to determine this. You can also tell how your opponent is following by at what point in your turn you pass them. Lastly, you shouldn't solely rely on switching for your defense. There's also times to combo into a rolling scissor or a flat scissor, use a cheeky ground defense, and sometimes you just need to use the brakes at the right time. Now, I know that was a lot, and I'm sorry I didn't have any BF5 footage for you guys. Hopefully in the future I can make some videos with BF5 footage. And really, switching is the same in any Battlefield game since probably 1942. Just study other pilots, see how they switch. Once you learn how to switch defensively, then it can really kind of snowball into other things because, like I said, switching is the lifeblood of defense. It's kind of the basic fundamental thing that you do 
once you understand switching, then you pretty much be invincible in public. When I fly in public, I don't really fly on pins and needles. I don't check the scoreboard every second to see if an uh, enemy pilot is spawning. I just kind of do my thing and let them try to get on my tail. For me, it feels like I'm on offense when I'm on defense, basically. And defense is pretty much the most enjoyable and rewarding thing in Battlefield for me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I also answer questions on Facebook. See ya.